To uncover some of the secrets of the Grand Central Terminal, I've enlisted the help of Consuelo Vanderbilt Costin, the great-great-granddaughter of William Vanderbilt II, one of the developers of the iconic structure. Years ago, to have just the, the insight to think about building something at this magnitude. These catwalks are one of the many secrets inside the Grand Central Terminal. The employees still use them today to get from one side to the other, but they used to be used for ventilation. Check this out. You can open this window up and see down onto the entire terminal. From down on the ground level, you can barely see me. Also way above the concourse, look at this, a public tennis court. Until 1966, this was the space where CBS News was broadcast. Railroad architect Mark Saunier joined us to explain one of Grand Central's most amusing secrets. So this is the famous whispering gallery that you guys have told me about here. You say if you stand in one corner, and I stand over here, face the wall, I can hear what you guys are saying? Yeah, you can hear perfectly. Standing in one of four corners, you can whisper into the wall and be heard by anyone standing in another corner. Can you guys hear me? Perfectly yes, clearly. Yes, we can hear you. This is nuts. It's like a cell phone call. Yeah, without the drop signal. The iconic clock in the main information booth sit atop another Grand Central secret, right behind this hidden door. Underneath the central clock, the information desk was actually this tiny, very skinny spiral staircase that leads to two secret levels. Grand Central Secrets Revealed.